Between the $93,000 an hour visit, 120,000 men personal guard, and $2,614 a minute travels, these are the six most heavily guarded world leaders in 2023. The Pope Seeing the ruler of the world's smallest country on a list like this is weird, but security can never be too tight when discussing the Pope. After all, being head of the Catholic Church is bound to create some enemies in the long run, especially from other religions and those who fear faith can threaten their despotic rule. Pope John Paul II learned that the hard way after receiving four gunshot wounds in 1981. Since then, security measures wherever the Pope visits have been in the millions. For example, in 1987, when the Pope visited the US for nine days, the security cost exceeded $93,000 an hour. Of course, the prices haven't gone down with time, as Portugal will pay around $36.5 million this year for the Pope's five-day visit to Lisbon in August. Ever since the accident in 1981, the Pope is always surrounded by guards and is moving with his custom-designed Pope Mobile. Over the years, the Holy See received several highly expensive models, ranging between $85,000 and $750,000. However, the cornerstone behind the Pope's security is the highly trained Swiss guards. Seeing something 20-something-year-old boys dressed in Greek costumes for Comic-Con might not be too intimidating. However, neither the uniform nor the ferocity of those who wear it has changed since 1506. Today, the Swiss Guard is one of the most ferocious units in the entire world. It is regarded as a high honor among Swiss army men to be selected for this role. To be eligible, you need to be an active conscript, aged 19 to 30. And unfortunately for you young ladies who want to get a piece of the action, you need to be a man for the role. It seems the Catholic Church is not that into the whole gender equality. While you definitely wouldn't want to mess up with the Pope and find out firsthand what the Swiss Guard is capable of, you'd probably still end up alive. That's more than what could be said about interactions with Saudi Crown Prince's bodyguards, as Jamal Khashoggi would undoubtedly agree. Mohammed bin Salman Security should always be your top priority when you're in charge of two trillion dollars. The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman takes that lesson to heart. Fortunately, with an ever-growing personal wealth, currently estimated at around $25 billion, the Saudi king-to-be can afford one of the top security details in the entire world. Being in charge of the Saudi Arabian Defense Ministry, MBS has appointed two entire battalions to the elite royal guard, whose primary duties are to protect the king and the crown prince. As he came into power in 2017, Mohammed bin Salman persuaded his father to change the guard's leadership as he suspected their loyalty was to the former Crown Prince Mohammed bin Nayef. The Royal Guard is heavily equipped with top-of-the-line firearms, armored vehicles, MRAPs, US-built helicopters, and drones. This might seem a bit excessive, but MBS knows what happens if you snooze when you're in charge of two trillion dollars. Moreover, MBS immediately began modernizing the Saudi army once he came into power. Today, it counts more than 450,000 soldiers and is the sixth most well-funded army in the world. Its budget for 2023 exceeds $61 billion. When it comes to his personal bodyguards, however, there is little information. Some sources claim that over 100 guards are tasked personally with MBS's safety. They are all paid exceptionally well and can enjoy some privileges not many in conservative Muslim countries can. However, we know only about seven of them, those involved in Jamal Khashoggi's decapitation. Do you think that's going a bit overboard? Well, MBS's security detail and spending are laughable compared to what Kim Jong-un spends on his security. Kim Jong-un Armored cars, trains, and decoy jets 
It sounds negligible, but when you add the 120,000 personnel private army to the equation, Kim Jong-un's security detail becomes a bit more formidable. That's the least the dear leader can do when he's on top of every Western intelligence agency's hit list. Naturally, Kim's so-called Praetorian Guard is officially doing their duty, and they are not compensated more than anyone else. Some deserters, however, claim that this private army costs the dear leader more than $250 million a year. The truth must be somewhere in between. The most threatening part of his security detail, however, is the personal bodyguards, who can always be seen jogging next to the dear leader's car. I'm not quite sure what they're protecting while running, as currently Kim uses the $1.6 million Mercedes-Benz Maybach S6000, which can withstand any caliber ammunition, rocket launchers, grenades, and landmines. Probably a ballistic missile would do the trick. Jokes aside, his personal guards are extremely tough combatants, one of the best in the world. I wouldn't be surprised if they themselves could withstand firearms and grenades. This is the highest honor for a North Korean, though only those shorter than 5'7 can have it. Unfortunately, Kim doesn't like to look weak, and in his mind, being short is a sign of weakness. So, naturally, his bodyguards can't stand taller than him. His multi-million dollar personal train and private planes are also one pretty significant expense. Whenever he travels, all three of his trains are on the rails. He usually resides in the second train, which has 20 identical cars, each with blackened windows, and usually positioned randomly, so no one would know where Kim's ultra-luxurious bedroom car is. On board, among meeting rooms, banquet halls, and many other luxuries, there is an escape helicopter. Now, tell me again how Kim is not a Bond villain? While flying, the dear leader has the same idea. All three of his highly luxurious, identical IL-62s are in flight, just in case anyone decides to start World War III by downing the dear leader's plane. It's hard not to have many allies. It's even harder when most of your actual friends spend even more on security than you do. Xi Jinping Who would have thought that Winnie the Pooh would have so many enemies? Look at that smile, that warm gaze, that… oh wait, that's actually Chairman Xi Jinping. Yes, holding the power of the second biggest economy and the second best army in the world certainly takes its toll on your freedoms. Not as much as Xi takes from his subjects, but still. At least he can afford one truly spectacular security detail. With a military budget of nearly $300 billion, China is certainly answering today's challenges, especially those concerning the chairman's security. Just like any communist country, the ruling party would swear that their leader is actually living a modest and secluded life, giving his all to the public. And with an official salary of $22,000 a year, Xi is probably struggling to make ends meet. His bank account of $1.2 billion, however, tells a different story. Still, his protection is entrusted to the taxpayer. And oh boy, do the taxpayers pay. Tasked with Xi's protection is the Central Security Bureau. Under their command is the deadliest unit in the entire world the Central Guard Regiment. This highly trained unit consists of approximately 8,000 troops, all divided into 36 squadrons with different tasks regarding the leader's security. Unlike other dictators, Xi does not usually travel with utmost luxury. Instead, he uses a regular plane from Chinese airlines. Naturally, the whole plane is just for him and his administration but there are no golden fixtures, no diamond cups, and no ivory thrones inside. The only difference between his travels and any other Chinese citizen is the squadron of fighter jets accompanying the chairman during his flight. When Xi travels on land, however, the story is a bit different. Usually the entire city is blocked, and a 50-car-long motorcade parades through the city, filled with heavy weapons, snipers, 
and helicopter support, ready to open fire against any attacks. Xi's motorcade might be impressive, but no one can beat the US president when it comes to security on the road. Joe Biden Having two dead presidents under their watch is not an excellent score for the American Secret Service. So, naturally, they upped their game after JFK's demise. And today, the President of the United States is the safest job in the world. Naturally, that comes at a cost. Usually, a minute outside the Oval Office costs the American taxpayers roughly around $2,614. The steep price doesn't include the initial investments in top-of-the-line security measures, like the Beast. This armored truck, transformed into a luxurious limousine, costs over $1.5 million without the top security offensive and defensive capabilities. Alongside the limousine, there are at least 50 cars at all times as they meticulously follow protocol to ensure the President's safety. The most astounding thing about this motorcade, however, is that all 50 cars are flown all across the world along with the President. They use a much more modest plane than the President, but still, it's not cheap to transfer all that personnel and equipment. The President's plane is a whole other thing. I would love to talk in detail about the state-of-the-art defensive capabilities of this mesmerizing bird, but as you might have guessed, they are kept top secret. When you're down two presidents, you're not too liberal with the information you give away. Still, the President's Air Force One is one of the most expensive planes in the entire world, costing anywhere between $600 and $800 million. Last but not least, there is the White House. Though it looks like the best home office in Washington, D.C., this is actually a bunker disguised as a museum. The annual budget of the White House is $1.4 billion, and it certainly doesn't go for Biden's PB&J sandwiches. While the details are not disclosed, there are some pretty intimidating defensive and offensive capabilities, including anti-missile systems, a cyber security detail, several hundred guards, and several dozens of dogs not the best place to sneak in. If that sounds impressive or expensive, just wait until you hear how much the Russians pay for Vladimir Putin's safety. Vladimir Putin Over the last year, Vladimir Putin's security detail has largely increased. It's not easy being the most hated man in the world and constantly under attack from external and internal threats. It also doesn't come cheap. However, when you have $200 billion and an entire country under your boot, you can enjoy some peace and quiet in your own personal luxurious bunker somewhere in the Ural Mountains. Unfortunately for Putin, most of his private Wagner army is already dead, and the new conscripts are less than ideal, as they mainly come from prisons in Serbia. Still. Putin keeps his 3,000-strong personal guard detail close. These men and women are combat experts, hackers, and other specialists dedicated to keeping their leader safe. The private road Putin has from his home at Novo Agariovo to the Kremlin also helps a bit, mainly by skipping the dreadful Moscow traffic jams. To ensure his safety, Putin also has a private cook and gets all his products from the head of the Russian church, Patriarch Kirill Farms. Whenever on the road, the Russian president is constantly surrounded by a police escort that cuts through the traffic. Moreover, he relies on his $300,000 highly modified 2018 Aura Senat. The car has not only an ultra-luxurious setting, but also some pretty impressive offensive and defensive capabilities. Although Putin's annual budget for security is classified, some estimates can easily put it in the billions, as the total military spending of the country exceeds $84 billion. And we can all see that this money is definitely not spent on the bloody Ukrainian war. Yes, Vladimir Putin knows that security is priceless. 
But how does he spend the rest of his $200 billion fortune? Find out in this video.